Hi there, today I want to go through uh, branding in Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark is a really, really cool tool. Uh, so we've got a free um, access to the premium version of Adobe Spark. So when you go to spark.adobe.com and go to log in, you'll get this page here. So if you log in with an Adobe ID, and then you're going to go sign in with an enterprise ID, this one here, okay? And then what you're going to do, sometimes it takes it two clicks, I'm not sure why, uh, put in your school email address. As soon as you press tab, it'll go here because you're going to sign in with your school details and it's a company or school account. So it will take you through and you may then have to sign in at the normal page that you might see if you're logging on to the school services when you're at home, like this one here. Okay, put your username, oh, sorry, your email password in, hit sign in. Okay, so from here, you can just create a project from scratch. So you can create amazing looking posts, uh, like web pages, or you can create a video, which is just you speaking over the top of images or videos. Um, some really cool options here. But before you do all those three, if you're engaged in a business, idea or something like we're doing in creative industries, what you can do is add a brand. So you can brand your uh, brand your marketing materials up really easily. So if you have a logo that you've designed, and you can design a logo here in the photo section, or you could do that elsewhere as well, you can upload it. I don't have a logo at this stage. So we're going to add a color. So we're going to choose a color for our brand here. So uh, let's make it... So I kind of like this blue color here. So I can move this around. You've got the hex number up there. Save that color. I can pick a font that I really like. So I'm going to say, yep, I like that font there. Okay, and I can give it a brand name. So this is um, my business. And let's go. Okay, so in a few minutes, um, or a minute or so, uh, you've got the similar thing from the menu that you get here in Adobe Spark, but all of them are branded to the color and text that you've, that you've uh, selected. And also, it'll have your logo on there as well. So you can also choose different kinds, dark, medium, dark, or light, based on this theme as well. So a quote, an announcement, a card, a poster, uh, all kinds of things. So if I just go see all, you can see that if you want to do a Facebook ad, uh, product launch, a YouTube thumbnail, all of these are the right sizes to use for social media, um, which is really cool. So if I just click this one here, okay, so now I've got all these different options here. Obviously, I can uh, change the text there and add all kinds of text if I want to. Uh, I can change the layout. And it'll automatically just um, move those layouts around so you can have a look and see what that looks like. You can add in extra things as well, uh, change the fonts, all of those sorts of things. Uh, so this is a way, uh, once you've done that, you can share your post after you've finished with it straight to social media. So you connect your account to your Facebook account or you want Twitter, email, or you can grab a link for it as well. So if anyone grabs this link here, they'll be able to see this poster directly online. Or, of course, you can download uh, your creation and put it anywhere you like. So it downloads it as a picture file. If you select the picture that's already in there and you can select replace, you can upload your own photo that you have, which would be great for your brand. Or you can find free photos. So um, uh, if I just type in jeans or whatever it is you want to type in, it'll look for images uh, free images that you're able to use. So I might decide that that's the image that I want to use. Um, Pixabay and other ones that are represented there, uh, images are, are free to use and you can use them without having any attribution. So on a poster, it's great. You don't have to write it down the bottom, you know, who the image is by. So that's a way that you can replace an image or you could upload an image of your own. Also on the page, you can add more text if you want. You can add another photo to the page, you can add an icon, and again, you can search for an icon if you want. Uh, there's just heaps of stuff that's available here for free.
Okay, so if I choose that one. There we go. There we go. Or if you've got a logo or something like that as well, you can upload your logo so it goes on your page. So there's a heap of things that you can add to customize this already um, design. Remember this design was for a Facebook post, I think. So you've got the exact right dimensions for that as well when you download it. So um, there's lots of good options there. It's just a, an introduction to how you can do some branding in Adobe Spark.